Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Someone just sent me this link to a document which is being circulated on social media quite a lot. This enables you to calculate GPU memory for serving LLMs locally. Or in other words, if you are looking to run a model locally and you want to know how much video RAM or VRAM of a GPU you need, then you can use this formula shared to calculate that. Now, in my opinion, this is not exactly right. I think this is very oversimplified. There are a lot of things which needs to be taken, taken care into. But maybe for a good starting point, that might be uh, that might give you a very rough approximation. But other than that, I think it is very oversimplified and I will um, explain it a bit more. But let's try to have a look at it. What exactly this person Sam Stolinga has done. So for example, if you want to know how much VRAM do you need to run 70 billion parameter model such as Llama 2 on your local system, then you can use this formula here. So here M is the GPU memory which you need in terms of gigabyte. P is a parameter of the model. For example, if you are using Llama 70 billion, you would put in 70 here. Or if you are using something like Llama 3.18 billion, then you will go back and simply put 8 here in uh, place of P. And then uh, into 4B means that it is 4 bytes. So 4 bytes for so each parameter in a model has occupies 4 bytes. So that is why they are multiplying it with 4 and then it is being divided by 32 divided by Q. So and the Q here is the amount of bits that should be used for loading the model. Now 32 is simply that because every byte has 8 bits and we are specifying 4 bytes. So this is a 4 into it. It is 32 bits whereas Q is the amount of bits that should be used for loading the model. Now, if you remember my previous video, I have mentioned it before that a full model is represented in 32 bit precision. Whereas if you cut it into half like 16 bit floating point, that is a half precision. And then you can apply quantization on it where you reduce the size of the model and which affects the accuracy, but the model fits into more VRAM. So for example, you can go with 8 bit, you can go with 4 bit. And now I think we also have some uh, ternary ones, but anyway, so uh, this is where you can put your uh, quantized level or quantization level, and then just to uh, allow some sort of overhead or some error margin, it is being uh, multiplied by 20% or 1.2, and then that's how you get your memory. So, if you apply this formula to 70, this person has also calculated it, so you would need around 168 GB of VRAM in order to run this model. That is a lot. Not even you can fit it onto NVIDIA's A180 GP VRAM. You would need multiple GPUs for this. And that is quite an expensive affair. So you can replace eight here and then run it. Now, I believe, as I said earlier, this seems like a very, very simplified approximation and its accuracy might depend on specific circumstances. For example, um, I have four major concerns on it. First, uh, first of my concern is oversimplification because this formula assumes a direct proportionality between the number of parameters which is uh, or bits per second or bits per parameter and GPU memory. But in reality, memory usage can be influenced by additional factors like model architecture, data types, memory allocation strategies and a lot of other things, especially when it comes to these neural networks. Second of the concerns I have is overhead calculation. Um, the 20% overhead factor 1.2 multiplier might not accurately represent the actual memory overhead for all scenarios. This value could be anything. It could vary, vary depending on the specific use case, model implementation and hardware. And then um, another of my concern is around bit depth. This formula assumes that the bit depth, which is Q, in this case, quantization, directly affects memory usage. But some GPUs might not effectively support lower bit depths, for example, 8 or 4 bit, which could really lead to potential memory inefficiencies. And then my other concern is around GPU architecture because we have NVIDIA, we have AMD. 
which GPU this is talking about uh, because different GPU architectures might have varying memory hierarchies, cache structures and memory access patterns which could impact the accuracy of the formula. So I think um, I'm not saying that it is impossible to calculate uh, beforehand the VRAM required but there are a lot of other factor, factors which need to be taken care into like model architecture, data types, memory allocation strategies like dynamic, static and then what sort of memory hierarchy is there, uh, what is uh, the cache size there and lot of other stuff. Now just to give you a glimpse of this, um, this is not the first time someone has tried to do this, there are a lot of other uh, tools, papers and then web pages where you can find such information where people are trying to estimate the required GPU VRAM for AI models. For example, you can see on the screen that around seven to eight months ago, I did this video on estimated GPU VRAM. That is another tool which you can check out just search with VRAM on my channel and you should be able to find out this video. And then another effort was where you can run any 70 billion LLM on single GPU. Okay, and then you see that just two weeks ago, I did a video on this um, another tool where you can calculate the required VRAM and best LLM count for a GPU. And then there are a few other videos where I have done and I have uh, discussed a lot of other tools on it. Now, if you go back to that um, page where this formula is, and I will drop the link to it in video description, so don't worry about it. You will see that not only for the full model, but also if you are looking to reduce the memory with quantization. So instead of going with the half precision 16 bit, you can go with the uh, 4 bit one. So all you need to do is to just replace. 16 with 4 and then you see that the memory has dropped down from 168 to simply 42 GB. So and that is true. I mean if you are looking to reduce your memory footprint or because or if you have a limited GPU then the best way to use the large language models locally is to go with the quantized version. Um, there are a lot of quantized levels from Q8 to even Q2 and even less than that. But remember that as you go down the quantization level, the accuracy of responses go down too. So be aware of that. And I already have covered it in great detail what these quantized level means and how you can get it. And there are a lot of tools where you can use that. For example, you can use LM Studio, you can use Olama and heaps of other tools. So all in all, still I believe a lot of work needs to be done to calculate the GPU memory for serving LLMs to get a proper estimation. I don't think so. You can pinpoint exact how much VRAM you would need for a model because that depends upon a lot of factors. But at least I think an educated informed decision should uh, be in the offering. And I believe we can use any LLM uh, to do that. I normally just go to, you know, uh, ChatGPT, Gemini or Lama 405 billion. And then I just put in my requirement and then try to see what these models say because I don't think so there is any scientific formula to obtain that video to be very frank but that's it uh, if you have uh, figured out any uh, proven scientific formula to get this GPU memory for serving LLMs let me know also remember that uh, the dynamics completely change when you're looking to scale these LLMs to multiple users for example if you're just looking for yourself then okay that's fine you can serve it maybe on this much vram but if you're looking to serve your ai powered application or your llm to hundreds or thousands of users how much vram do you need so we have to take care of all of this so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching